Mr. DeFay is back. Go ahead, Ms. Fuller. Yes, we want to talk about um, possibility of terms for release and then set it for a prelim, Your Honor. All right, so this is Tyler Brandon DeFay? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, it is. All right, and this is case 190. All right, so first let's talk about um, what's this? I don't know. Let me. I don't know if we've discussed conditions of release before. We have, Your Honor, but he didn't qualify for the ankle monitor program. Uh, Hargis is asking if we can just set bail, and I think that's appropriate. All right. Uh, what would you suggest in this case? 2500 Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to ask for. All right. Mr. DeFay, if I were to set bail at $2,500, uh, you would have to get a bond, which would cost you about $250. Is that something you're able to do? Uh, I could possibly do 1000 if possible. Any way you can do the $2,500? Uh, probably not. Tyler, do you understand that you only have to pay two fifty, or that if it's a thousand, yeah, you only yeah, have yeah. to pay a hundred? Okay. Right. I'm just limited I'll, on funds since I haven't worked for a while. I'll agree to the one thousand, Your Honor. All right, I'll set bail at one thousand dollars. It's bondable. Thank you. And and Your Honor, um, that he was living at the ranch where the victim is that he can't have any contact with now. He's asking for permission to leave Duchesne County because he'll need to live with family in Salt Lake County. Yeah, where, where we're just setting bail, he'll be able to live where he needs to live as long as he makes his court appointments. Thank Perfect. you. Thank you. Yeah, I believe that there already is a no contact order with the victim, Your Honor. Um, but if we could just verify that or just reorder, it's probably the simplest way. Yeah. I was going to put my, one my against him. Can you see, Julianne, whether we entered a... We have not. All right. I'm going to order that there be no contact, uh, criminal no contact, pretrial no contact order between Mr. DeFay and the alleged victim in the case. Mr. Charles, if you... RL is her initials. Um, the initials are RL, and we just will just need the victim's advocates to provide that information so that we can create the order. Okay. All right, Mr. DeFay, uh, you stay in contact with Ms. Fuller. I'm, have you given her your contact info? I yes, might have. I have it. I have All a phone right. number on his email. All right, I'm going to just uh, set an appointment out. Oh, you wanted to schedule a preliminary hearing, is that right? Yes, we do. Um, how about the 21st or the 28th? August 21st works, Your Honor. All right, we'll schedule a preliminary hearing August 21st at 1.30. Right. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. DeFay, you, I'll see you then. You can get it. You're free to go as soon as you can get that bail posted. All right. Okay.